Hoops, SBC Hoops from the Basketball Palace of Mid-America, Bud Walton Arena, as the 8-2 Arkansas Razorbacks host the 4-8 Golden Eagles from Oral Roberts. Happy holidays here at Arkansas. Has his team off to a good start. Anton Beer with a good start tonight. Hits the triple. And Arkansas some really good making Arkansas. a left one fly off the side of the rim. There's Barford with the putback. Sometimes when you play zone, you're a little more susceptible to giving up offensive rebounds because you're not guarding one man and you might lose track of who you're supposed to block out. Arkansas doing a good job early attacking. And there's a crazy with the hoop. And that's the one thing ORU brings, some extreme size for a mid-major team. Yeah, they have a lot of size and a lot of length, which makes their zone uh, tough to deal with. And Arkansas is going to have to get some stops on defense as well. Anton Beard amongst the bigs, able to coach one in. Kearns trying to bounce for White. Now the Hawks running for one of the few times tonight. Anton Beard goes to the rim, and he scored a quick seven. He's a crafty beard with the teardrop, and the putback won't go. Gafford, left lane, hammer down. Daniel Gafford with his 23rd dunk of the season. That's, I don't even know what to say. I wish I could do that. Just Please. once. Right? Just one time. Barford over Fuqua, and that one went around and dropped back through. <laughs> And it'll be Arkansas basketball. They earn the turnover. So Barford in the middle of everything, as we discussed in the open. Yeah, on a 7-0 run. I think Barford's over 40%. Macon's over 40%. Jones is over 40%. Even Darius Hall's over 40%. Right. Another turnover. Numbers aren't there. Macon will give to Jones. And the tip is up and in from Darius Hall. Oh. And another knock away, and Coach Mills furious right now. By Oral Roberts to start this game, but Arkansas has really got to get back on defense better. There's the stroke from C.J. Jones. Scott Sutton, after 18 years, is gone. And Haley mentioned Paul Mills in his first year. Adriel Bailey running loose. Finishes, and a foul, and one. Harris will crank up another three. Darrell Macon on the attack. Right back for CJ. Back to back for Jones. And White can't run down the pass, and that is now double figures in turnovers for Old Roberts does it. So they're not going to be good at doing what Arkansas does. Took back to Jones, see if he's feeling it. Three in a row for CJ. That's a recipe for not. Armando Cook with the hoop off the assist. A lot of hard, a lot of teams. Hawks trying to run quickly. Cook from the baseline. Orlando with a couple of hoops. A little give to Cook and Orlando Cook with six quick points. Good finish by Cook, but again, that's that's knowing how to play the game. Nice pass by Daniel Gaffer. Duque doing his best to keep from turning it over. Kern for the three-pointer, his first two for the game. For the San Antonio native, averaging 10 plus. Destin Thomas above the rim, threw it down with the right hand from a few feet away. He really attacks the basket, you know, with a lot of aggression. Sometimes when you when you go soft, it doesn't go well. But Adriel or it's uh, Barford rather. There was some contact with Gafford, but Barker gets the best season. He's done a better job of late. That's part of his progression. Barford on the attack from end to end. Basketball. And I know it was a concern for Coach Mills of ORU. Gafford hammers another one. I'm interested. Great dunk. And Kearns had his shot block, so that is a shot clock violation. Another turnover. See if the Hogs can get a 50-point half. See if Gaffer can get another dunk. Three and a half for Daniel. Anton Beard got things rolling early tonight. C.J. Jones then lets another one fly. Four triples in the game. Not on the another one. Darius Hall will. Good rebound. Trey Thompson on the attack. 
and it'll drop. And the Hawks will put up 52 in the first half. Yeah, I mean, what a great half by Arkansas. They came out with a lot of aggression. They attacked Will Roberts. They can't turn the ball over. They've got to take care of the ball. And then they can't give up layups nope. just like that. Don't spend time if they want the first play slow to get back in it. That is the real problem when you trail against Arkansas. Darrell Macon with the hit. Now 10 different Hogs have scored. Really good pass from Boy, Macon let that one fly from about 25 feet. This is where Arkansas really hurts you. You start keying in on certain players, and then you forget about the second league scorer and Darrell Macon, and then they get a steal on the front court and another one. Barford had the steal, then making the steal, and it'll stay Arkansas possession for the reigning SEC player of the week. And they want to be known on a national level. What Barford had some thievery going today, and he was trying to finish at the rim. There's Gabbard again! Look out below with the big man on the floor. I'll tell you one team that hasn't had much fun is ORU, but that one will fall through from Spencer Sutton. Son of Sean, there's Macon. Let's one fly again, and Darrell was scoreless at the break. He hit three triples here in the second half. Yeah, he was scoreless at the break, and you know, really didn't have a lot of opportunities in the first half, but he's taking advantage here in the second half. Gaffer contesting that shot. With him. Hogs with them. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> JB feeling it. Barker with 14 points. Boy, he has filled up the stat sheet tonight. Kick. Harris didn't realize he was wide open. Pulls the trigger. Gets his first basket. And the Hawks are going to answer. And look at his split time as Adrian Bailey runs the floor. It's into that system for a team that's won 14 straight games. And he had 24 and 20 last night. Four dunks. But Gafford has that same ability to run the floor in this offense. You should see Barford go to the rack the easy lay in. But you need that so big man to go with the increments. The last four minutes was not a good one for the Razorbacks. They're going to want to turn around these next four minutes to keep their coach happy. And Son Beard had the hot start. His first going at that, that warp speed. Yeah, it definitely does. You get out of doing what you're used to doing. Sometimes it takes you out of your your rhythm. That'll help there. Nice three by Son Beard. Putting him in double figures. Uh, one more. Darryl Macon with the triple. And he's a double figures as well with a dozen all of them from long range. For Arkansas right out of the gates. Harper to the rim. And he's right at his season average of 18 points a game. We'll say boy and back to Hall. Dustin Thomas will knock one in. Darius Hall from three point land. Again. Daniel Gafford, Adriel. C.J. Jones again. He's in five triples tonight. He might let one go here. For the century mark. Oh, my goodness. He almost banked it in. There's 100 points for the putback from Darius Hall. I thought he was going to shoot one. <laughs> and then Adriel Bailey says, uh-uh. Can you can't put that in the uh-oh, uh-oh, here we go. Darius Hall, hello! And the bench loving that one as well. That was the hammer. Boy, your eyes get big, right, when there's no one in front of you and a chance to... Oh, I'm asking the wrong guy if you could have a dunk. There's Jonathan Hall. <laughs> I tell you, he no, is just consistent. about to do it. And it 104 points tonight for the Arkansas Razorbacks. How about this for consistency, Kiko? 52 in the first half, 52 in the second half. That is very consistent, and they had a 